Hello everyone, this is Hyman from PocketNow.com and well, after Apple's March 7th event where they just announced their new iPad without a number, well, Apple has also announced their launch of iOS 5.1 which is now available for download and it's available for the iPhone and obviously the current generation iPad, so let's talk about it. You know, it took so long for Apple to bring iOS 5.1 out of beta that many of us actually believed that they were going to ditch the whole project and go away with iOS 6 or something that was even better than 5.1. Sadly, the story is different. 5.1 was barely even announced at the event, but it brings a couple of the changes that many of us were expecting. First of all, and number one is the fact that we can finally delete photos from PhotoStream. It's kind of a no-brainer, not really sure what took them so long, but it's finally there. It's a simple user interface, all you have to do is go into the photo application, go into your photo stream, and then within there, just hit the button at the top and simply select the pictures you want to delete from your photo stream. And once you have them, then just delete them. The cool feature here is that if you're using your iPad, it doesn't really matter where you took the photos. You simply can do the same thing on your photo stream on any iOS device that's synced to your same iCloud account. So that's a pretty good deal. Aside from that, well, we finally get Japanese on Siri. Not really sure that's something compelling for the rest of the market over here. Don't even Google what Siri means in Japanese, but Another really cool feature is that now the lock screen camera button is available permanently. You no longer have to double tap the home button to select the camera. All you have to do is simply hit the camera button and swipe it to the top and it will automatically launch the photo application for you to take your photo. Now, don't expect that in the iPad and first of all, who takes pictures on their iPad? Now the camera face detection now highlights whenever it detects more than one face whenever you're taking a photo, at least on the iPhone 4S. And then on the iPad 2, probably one of a gimmick feature Feature, but it's kind of cool is the fact that now the camera button rotates whenever you rotate your screen. Aside from that, well, iTunes Match now gets Genius Mixes and also Genius Playlist. Kind of a cool feature there that was much expected. And audio TV shows and even movies now get enhanced audio on the iPad. Really cool feature because currently it wasn't doing that good. Podcast controls now give you playback speed and even the 30 second rewind that you're used to seeing in movies. And one thing we weren't expecting, but it's there, is the fact that, well, it seems that AT&T won the battle with Apple. And now if you've got an AT&T iPhone 4S, you'll get a 4G indicator instead of 3G. Even if Apple came on their keynote for the iPhone 4S launch and said, well, it's not really 4G, which we agree to. And we are getting some battery improvements for the iPhone 4S, apparently. Can't really test that right now, it's too soon. So far, we haven't seen our battery drain so much after the update but it's only been a couple of hours so hopefully it will improve we'll keep you posted on any i review in the future to tell you yes it's worked or no it hasn't worked and well finally there are fixes to occasionally drop volume whenever you're making an outgoing call though we're not really sure if that's actually some way to go around drop calls that we always get on at&t but well iOS 5.1 brings not really those big updates, not something that everybody was expecting, but again, can you really expect anything else from Apple going through the fact that they don't really want to get rid of their iconic UI? Probably we'll have to wait for WWDC in the future. Doesn't really matter if Apple's gonna keep their same icons, but still the iPad, or the new iPad, should we call it, brings a lot of really new ground with their retina display, so it would be cool to see new features instead of just the same icons that we're used to, but again, we'll just have to wait for it. That's it for our hands-on review of iOS 5.1 for Apple's devices. If you have any questions or comments, leave us a comment down below, and well, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw. That's it for now.